Well, the inspiration for the makeup is kind of quite 60s inspired. Imagine that the girl's like really young, teenage, very innocent, but a bit rebellious. And it's almost as if she's experimenting with her mum's makeup. She's picked up this pot of eyeshadow, rubbed her finger in it, and just smudged it along the lower lid of her eye. And she's making an unintentional statement. She doesn't know she's done it, but she looks fantastic. We're doing sort of little fake bobs, clean, gorgeous hair. The new collection, it's quite structured. It has a lot of flowers in it, but there's quite a structured feel to it. So the hair is structured too, but we're going to loosen it up before they go on the runway. We're just going to break it up a little bit. Our muse was Susie Bishop, who we saw in the Wes Anderson film Moonrise Kingdom earlier in the summer. She was like a kind of quirky muse, and she'd always have like perfect turquoise nails and like sort of little flat shoes and sort of little makeup. Yeah. bright blue eyeshadow. We're always fascinated with um, anti-fashion icons, uh, and then uh, we were discussing this, and it, uh, fashion is so futuristic right now, and we wanted to, uh, to do something soft and nostalgic, the, the very opposite of what the trends are doing. And when we watched the film, then it sort of like helped us wrap it up. It reminded us of collections that we've done in the past, so we went to our archive and said, yes, let's redo this, let's redo that, and we sort of rebooted uh, some of our favorite ideas, and you know, the idea of, uh, of dark chic that's what we have in mind yeah, like big plastic hair slides and little things like that so it's a bit off and like kind of bad nail varnish we thought at first that our archive would overwhelm us uh, but in fact having Susie Bishop in mind you know helped us a lot because we, we knew there are only a few things that she would like, a few things that she would really endorse, being in a, uh, uh, a non-fashion Quite clean girl. as well, we yeah. kind of focused generally on the quite clean, simple shapes, so um, that was definitely a thing, wasn't it? That everything's and the other thing is like putting the looks in flat shoes, which again would be very, very dorky. Uh, it was, it Plastic just well. changed, changed everything, changed everything. We thought that the black and white would be just, you know, what is needed for the evening wear. Make it really graphic. But then we have those uh, the, uh, uh, brooches, embroidered brooches, which we call cookies. The embroidered cookies, uh, which are quite fun. And there's something almost like childlike and at the same time very precious about, which we really, really like. And to pair them with the glitter uh, plastic shoes, it just makes them so, so delicious and so anti-fashion. I think Clement Ribeiro is known for its prints, its use of colour and its fabulous cashmere. Uh, and in terms of style, for our eclecticism and the freedom in which we mix things and mix references and make something uh, uh, sometimes quite ordinary, um, our own. Yeah, but slightly, always like slightly off kilter so that it's sort of, you know, it's almost normal but not quite.